Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for Capricorn. <clears throat> Excuse me, so this is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, wherever you have it. Take it only if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, do not force fit. Leave it for somebody else. There's sick, thick energy on YouTube. There's little Delilah. She's already tucked in. She's our spirit guide and mask guide here on the channel. We don't do a video without her. Capricorn, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. So thank you for joining us. And if nobody's told you today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Sendit Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's see if we can help you in some way. Here we go. Show me Capricorn. Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Capricorn. <clears throat> Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Gee whiz, Capricorn. All right, here, this one hit first. Got a Knight of Pentacles in reverse, a Five of Cups, a Knight of Wands at the foundation of the situation, and some kind of truth about to hit you in the head, crowning you. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This could be you or somebody in your energy. I can only give you the energy. You are going to have to apply it in your own life if it resonates. I do not live your life. Okay? And there is no gender, male or female. Across the board, it doesn't matter. Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who's lazy, somebody who doesn't want to put in the work, somebody who may be, you know, even criminally minded. This is somebody who's greedy, somebody who's jealous, somebody who's irresponsible, okay? And then you got the Five of Cups. Obviously, somebody that you lost. You have some kind of regret, some kind of disappointment, you know, yeah. The cups have been spilled, you're not getting them back. Now, at the foundation of your situation, Cancer, I mean, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male, female, right? This is somebody that gallantly goes after what they want, the Knight of Wands. They're charismatic, they're confident, they're passionate, they're optimistic, they're vibrant. This is the hero. You're going to have some kind of truth, some kind of clarity, or some kind of victory. The facts, in some kind of situation in your life, my nose is itching. It's going to be different for everybody. All right, Capricorn? That's crowning it. So at the foundation, we have somebody bold and quick moving. In. Okay, you're going to be taking a new leap of faith. Aries energy. There's a new opportunity that's going to be presented to you. That might be what this clarity or this truth is. Okay? So leap of faith coming into your future. A new opportunity. Aries energy. So far, you have Aries as the most predominant. But, you know, yeah. We're not going to go by the sign. Here, you got an ace of pentacles. Look at this. A new opportunity for resources and abundance. Some kind of financial endeavor, maybe? Show me. Here. Okay, so here comes some kind of offer, some kind of news, some kind of something. You have a page of wants. Could be from a younger fire sign or somebody that's immature, but it's usually, you know, good news or a message. You have, this is going to make you crazy. You got the eight of swords. Spirits advise you, do not overthink, do not drive yourself crazy, forget the ruminating thoughts, snap out of this uh, pre-mental illness here. Stop overthinking everything. Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with somebody that's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have this in your chart. But this is somebody who's clear thinking. They're not overthinking. This is somebody who's decisive, fair, balanced, honest, honest, constructive, and perceptive. At the bottom of the deck, you have Virgo energy for doing the work. Spending time spiritually enlightening, soul searching, soul reflecting, solitude, inner guidance, and introspection. Some of you might feel feeling like your hands are tied. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Maybe there's something you need to release and let go. Or perhaps just see things from a different point of view. Okay? Let's leave that like that. Let's clarify. Right now, the most predominant, like I said, is Aries energy. So, what's going on with these cards? Why are my cards sticking to the deck, Capricorn? Why? Don't do that. Here. All right. Here we go. Give me clear and concise clarifications for the top. Top row. Thank you. Keep it coming. That's not enough. More. Capricorn. Well, I'm not taking all those, Capricorn. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Let's see. Capricorn. Okay. Anything else? Anything else for the top row right now? All right. We'll start here. Let's see. So, you have 
two of pentacles, two of cups, some kind of reciprocated offer of emotion. This could be with somebody that you either left out in the cold or left you out in the cold, or some of you could be having some kind of financial difficulty. So this two of cups doesn't always have to be romantic. Maybe it's going to be something where you could work well with others and you have some kind of shared goals and collaboration. Maybe something financial. You could be dealing with a king of cups, somebody who's intuitive, somebody who's kind, somebody who's empathetic, somebody that you have some kind of past lives with, somebody who's loving, nurturing, supportive, warm, friendly, affectionate, King of Cups, right? That's love. Show me. There's a Ten of Wands coming in on the shelf. Burdens are being released. Burdens are being released. Here we go. Some kind of surprise and shock. Something you don't see coming. Scorpio energy. Spirit coming in to shake it up and shake it down. Going to knock the winds out of you for a minute there, Capricorn. But you're going to be okay. Show me. Yep. Against the Pentacles again. Some kind of new opportunity for resources and abundance. Whatever this is coming in, it's, listen, it's got longevity. It's going to be solid. Look at the roots over here. However, this opportunity that's coming in might be the surprise and shock that you don't see coming. So, it's a new opportunity. Some of you have a green and pink dress that you like to wear. Okay. I'm seeing wilting flowers. I'm also seeing tulips. This could be very soon in the spring. Here we go. We have... Okay, there could be some kind of lack of recognition here. There could be some kind of, um, I'm not going to say a fall from grace, but the Six of Wands in reverse does talk about some kind of failure, some kind of lack of recognition or a lack of achievement. Somebody could be holding back. That could be why. Holding back their finances, holding back their emotions, holding back their material goods, their words, their thoughts, their affections. Let's go down here. Next row, what's going on? It's coming in. Okay. There is going to be some kind of loss and sadness, some kind of regret. You have the Five of Cups again. This is talking about, you know, oh, that was the Five of Pentacles. But leaving something behind. But having some kind of go focus and a goal and shooting for it, okay? Overcoming any obstacles to get to it. Persevering, Nine of Wands, being resilient and resourceful. Here we go. Let's see what we have. Okay. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that's an emperor in reverse. They have Aries in their chart somewhere, okay? The emperor in reverse is unreliable. This is somebody who's very controlling. They're, they don't have any discipline. They could be mean. They use their power, like, you know, in a mean way. They're, they're financially, you know, having problems. They're a hot mess. The emperor in reverse is a hot mess. You don't want to deal with this. Probably a narcissist. I'm going to be honest. You will be successful over this, Okay. You will be successful. You have the Nine of Pentacles. This is being rewarded for your efforts. This is about luxury achievement, material security. So if somebody's trying to like, you know, maybe use their power over you in some kind of a negative way, you're going to successfully overcome that because you're persevering through this and you have some kind of a goal here that you are shooting for and you don't give a shit what gets in your way. I mean, that's what that comes down to. So at the bottom of the row, because I gave you the signs up here, you have Cancer, Aries, and Virgo. Let's see, what else? Okay, now, Wheel of Fortune, turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma, decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. Sagittarius energy. Give me. Here we go. Now, moving away to calmer waters, accepting your lessons, departing, put a distance between you and whatever drama or whatever jerk off this is that's acting like an asshole. Spending time alone, Virgo energy. Doing self-reflection, soul-searching, inner guidance, introspection, spiritually enlightening. One more. Here comes an offer. Some kind of good news or a message. All right? There's going to be some kind of good news or a message coming in. Could be from somebody that has Virgo in their chart. Sagittarius, Aries, or Cancer. Show me. We also have Scorpio on the board. Okay, here we go. Here, again. A new leap of faith. It's the second time you had it. There's some kind of new opportunity here. You're going to get good news and message. It's going to be an offer of some kind of new opportunity to take some kind of leap of faith. Now, Capricorn, does any opportunity come with risks? Everything in life comes at risks. Forget about the risks. Looks like you're going to be fine. As far as all the green goes on this card, it's going to be financially conducive to you. And uh, who knows? You might make friends with the alligator. Use your head here. You got the Queen of Swords twice. Some of you might have a new opportunity with a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could be this Queen of Swords, you know, skilled, brave. 
Articulate, smart, fair, balanced. Also, on the lookout for something here. Something new coming in. Which could, yeah, something's going to move rapidly forward here. Rapidly forward. Now, whatever it is, could be a relationship, could be a business deal, could be anything that's moving rapidly forward in your life, which will be different for everybody since it's worldwide energy. Could be rapidly forward to becoming this king of, uh, queen of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Or you could be moving rapidly forward towards a queen of pentacles, male or female. Somebody who's nurturing, somebody who's motherly, somebody who's sensible, practical, and down to earth. All right, let's get you some kippers, Capricorn. Here we go. Official person, 22 or 4. You also have some kind of courthouse. So that official person could be a judge, a lawyer, a process server, 23 or 5. Somebody's going to be getting some kind of message. It could be that they have to go to court for something. 7. Let's do 741 megahertz. That's uh, that's a body cleanse, but it's also to open up your throat chakra. 741 hertz is your frequency sound bed. Somebody could be getting some kind of gift, 17 or 8. Could be the gift of a great fortune. This could involve a child, somebody innocent, somebody naive, 19 or 8. Show me. Here we go. Somebody could be passing away. Oh, yeah, yeah. So somebody could be passing away. Maybe that's why somebody has to go to court. They're going to get some kind of a gift. It's going to involve a great fortune. You're going to get a message that somebody passed away. You could be somebody's child here, right? Obviously, everybody is. There's a main male. Hope it's not your father. Condolences to you guys. Anybody losing anybody, okay? Here, adjudication again. So, yeah, there is some kind of courthouse adjudication. Could be somebody left you in the will here, 30, Capricorn, and somebody's in poverty, all right? And they have, might have to take a journey here, 10, 37, or 11. Maybe to go to court, maybe to go to a funeral. Anything else? Here we go. There's some kind of mature man here. So it looks like some of you, there's a mature man that's going to pass away. They could live at a distance. You might have to go on a journey for this. Um, yeah, you could be getting this message about this. Coffin. Yeah, distant horizons. Again, somebody that lives far away. Some of you could have to take a trip. Some of you might go on vacation. There could be significance about an anchor, an ocean community, or Jamaica. Somebody wants to court somebody and again with the gifts. All right. By the way, thank you for hitting the like and subscribe while I remember. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information's in the box below. Show me Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Emotions are running high, Super Moon. And luck is on your side, New Moon and Sagittarius. You also have the end of a tough cycle approaches, New Moon in Capricorn. Here we go. Is there any other signs that maybe we missed or Spirit wants you to be aware of? Sun, Moon, Rising, of Venus, male or female. You have Pluto. Pluto is uh, Scorpio, I believe. Don't, don't take that one to the bank, okay? Not, I think it's Scorpio. Okay, you got Venus. Venus is definitely Taurus and Libra. That you could take to the bank. Taurus, again. Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And Gemini. The bottom of the deck, Virgo. Let's give you a romance angel. Thank you again for hitting the like and subscribe. And we love you. And here we go. You have, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Here you go. You have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And let your friends help you ask and accept support from others. The bottom of the deck, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. Thank you for joining us again. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it is an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.